This year, actually, Hong Kong Baptist University is working closely with not only Kyoto University, but also Chenggong University in Tainan. So this is the first time. So there are many Asian faces from Taiwan, from Hong Kong, from Japan. So there's not a big problem for collaboration. Yeah, I think even we have the same theme, the same topic in three cities, but we still learn a lot from other one's experience because each city, their case, their site, their context or culture is totally different. I always think that for design workshop, we need diversity and we need different culture. I think this is a very important factor for the success of design workshop and this year we have more. Like the previous years, each time the workshop will pick a very socially relevant and also significant problem. This year, the topic is about sharing economy and focusing on aging. We first went to Tainan and learned about their sharing space. And then uh, we went to Kyoto and visited their district sharing communities. The last part is in Hong Kong. In order to motivate the students' social innovations using design thinking, we have uh, some uh, partners uh, from the social enterprise and we also invited several guest speakers to share with us. Uh, firstly, I like the diversity of coming from different countries and regions uh, and also I like um, the topic we chose is aging because it's a cross uh, regional uh, idea so we can have a cross region wisdom and collective impact to see how we can address the aging issue. Uh, perhaps maybe because I'm, I'm in the circle, I, I, this is my job to do social innovation, social entrepreneurship. Sometimes I think that you are so used to being in this circle that you forget that there are other people out there who have different ideas. So I think it's, it's very refreshing to hear from them in the way that they ask some of the questions. It's like, wow, I never thought about it that way either. Um, my name is Johannes Tenggara. It's an Indonesian name. One of my things is and the el empathy, elder empathy. So I think uh, when we try to become an old, yeah, eventually we all of we we can become old. And but this simulation helps you to become like old for now and have their difficulties. So you can uh, have the reflection. You can have your impression. Oh, this is me when we are getting older now. Not not just talking about the money, the funding, but it's about the well-being. So I think it's really, really a good experience that I had. We have a team of 35 uh, Silver Age Turn model. Uh, the models, the ages ranging from uh, 50 something to the eldest one is uh, 94 year old. Today we are happy to meet with some local and overseas students sharing about the concepts of ODEA to let them know more about it. I guess uh, even young people, they should really think about it, about uh, what is about ageing, uh, how, how would the world be when they grow old. I think ageing is not a, uh, an issue that facing only the old people nowadays because you know everyone will grow old every second, every day. So this is the stakeholders and of feedback and age because this is only uh, another like company they have. So uh, the major issue is for people who understand the product now. So here I'm trying, we are trying to propose a concept which is 
bring our to home. So nowadays we are organizing a lot of events, a lot of sharing sections, a lot of workshops, but it's all in outdoor. Make up like the real elderly and the advocate not only that you experience, you also can uh, have a lesson, have a course. Uh, our team is named the Silver Heart. You like to dance, you still want to dance in 85. You like to travel, you want to travel. Take the showers and the company with you. If your uh, children are not available to take care of you. Because within 24 hours, you have already come up with these suggestions and you already spot out our uh, difficulties. And, and another impressive point is, other than the, the problem you are spot in our, our room club and your suggestions mentioned here, some of them I didn't tell you, but we already intended. So you are very ready for coming to the community and to serve the society. Uh, and I, I really enjoy your presentation. I enjoy your energy. Uh, design, innovation, creativity are very important in your education. So this is one way of not actually teaching you how to be creative. It's not a way to teach you how to innovate. It's that you have to learn how to innovate, how to create yourself. And I hope that uh, we can continue on an annual basis. And I hope that this group can be at large so that more students could benefit. Hello, hello. I'm Vivian from Changgong University. And my name is Shogo Sujani. Uh, I come from the Kyoto University. My name is Di Wanshen and I come from uh, National Changgong University. During the design thinking process, and every time I can just uh, facilitate by the, the other people. It's a very good experience for us to gather the many fields of the students. And I have experience in Hong Kong workshop that very fantastic experience. Uh, I think to work with different countries people and also have a lot of like case study and we also have experience to the social enterprise. But also having a learning a lot more uh, and open your mind, mindset even for uh, not study design but uh, to me as a designer you are not just study design to make a cool things, to make a fancy things but to make a useful things uh, not just for the young, younger generation but also this workshop tell us that you might be able to design something for the elder to help them yeah, in the future. But the future starts from now.